The idea of Made in Italy was really born in comedy. Uh, when I was a much, much younger person, uh, one day after a big family gathering, my father and I hopped in the car together and we were sort of recollecting the, uh, the dinner. And we were doing impressions. And I don't know if we had done impressions prior to that or if we started that day, but we were doing these impressions of each of our family members and we were cracking each other up. Tastes good to taste. I thought there's something in this. Um, in this particular style of theater that I think would lend itself well to telling the story of my, of my family. I stop with your head in a toilet, capish? You drink too much? <whistles> toilet. You know, it can be both an Italian show and a 70s show. Welcome to the Athabasca, Jasper's local discotheque. You know, my dad would do his hair like John Travolta even when I was a kid in the 80s and 90s, and then he would make my hair look like John Travolta every day before I went to school. Okay, okay. okay. Doing a one-person show is so unique. How come you disrespect your father? Um, but it's also I mean, exciting. There's something about it that compels such a beautiful connection to the audience, something like I've never experienced before. The audience is very much a, a part of this play. They're at the dinner table with me, and I'm, I'm direct with them, and we're communicating one-on-one. -on -one. Italiano, it is. And I, I kind of don't want to stop doing it now. I find it really beautiful. Really challenging, yes, but that's part of the fun of it. <laughs>